guys. Happy Wednesday. Jerry Landry with the Weathered Shed. How's everybody doing tonight? Hello. I know it is supper time and I'm guessing a majority of you will be watching the replay, but I have an engagement this evening and I wanted to get on and show you guys what I'm doing with some cabinet doors that I picked up at the ReStore, um, which is, I don't know if you guys have those in your area, if you're out of the state of Wisconsin, but it's kind of a, it's where the, what is it? I forget. It's like salvaged um, furniture and all kinds of different items. A lot of um, flooring, tile, things like that can be found at the ReStore. So I stopped by my local one and I picked up these golden oak cabinet doors. I thought this was a great size to, to convert to a sign using um, Iron Orchid Design products. So as you guys are coming in, say hello. Let me know that you're here. Want to make sure everybody can see me okay and hear me. Um, so what I've done thus far, let me just kind of catch you up to speed. Um, I have painted the door. Um, again, just golden oak, and I washed it up really good, and I painted it with a coat of um, American Paint Company called Home Plate. It's a nice creamy white that I thought would look really nice on here. So that is where I'm at at this point. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to create, I kind of, um, it's probably hard to see on the camera, but I kind of painted this with a lot of texture. Um, I like to have my um, signs that I make and things like that have a lot of texture to them because I'm going to be using a wash, a paint wash over this, a dark gray paint wash. So, um, so the wash will kind of grab into the, the cracks and crevices. So I just have here some Dixie Belle paint. It's a gray, um, what is this called? Hurricane gray. Um, so you can see right here. And I'm just going to put some in a, a little cup here. <laughs> this is an Easter egg dyeing cup, um, along with some water. And I'm probably gonna need a little bit more than that. I'm actually gonna dump some water out, put a little more paint in there. So say hello as you're coming in, guys. And um, please share this video out. It really blesses me, and I would appreciate if you share it out to other people that like to um, repurpose. That's what this project is tonight. I'm repurposing a cabinet door, and I'm just mixing up a paint wash. Um, so you guys can see I have quite a bit of water in here, probably put a little bit too much. Um, I'm actually going to dump a little more of that out and add a little more paint. And I'm creating a paint wash because I want it to tint my off-white board that I have here and kind of stick in the paint and kind of antique it a bit, if you will. Kind of make it look a little bit grungy. So say hello, guys. I like to give you a shout out. So I just have a chippy brush here. And I'm doing nothing more than I'm just going to start slapping it on. You can see how watery it is. Okay, and I'm getting in the cracks and crevices here. And then I'm going to take a, a wet, I have a damp rag here. And I'm just going to start wiping it. And you guys can see the color change already taking place, right? And again, it's just a damp rag. Nothing's on it but water. If you guys have any questions, let me know as I'm going along. I'll try and look up periodically. Okay. It's pretty straightforward and you just kind of get it to to the look you want there's really no right and wrong with this I um I like it to have a lot of different texture because it just adds 
a lot of visual interest. So I like to get a lot in the corners and maybe even not wipe all that off all the way. Okay. Can kind of damp. All right. So you can see already this really shabby look I've achieved in seconds, right? Um, I'm gonna put a little bit more around the framework here. And I've got um, a little bit of an edge here that I need to get. So I wanna go around that real quick. Make sure I get that edge and the sides. And I've used, like I said, if you just are joining me, I used two different paints. I used as my base coat um, a paint by um, American Paint Company. The color is called Home Plate. It's a nice creamy white. And then I'm do, I did a paint wash, with this, which is a very watery, watered down um, Dixie Belle in hurricane gray. And that is um, how I'm achieving this really, look at all the texture, you guys. I'm gonna hold it up to the camera and hopefully it'll focus okay. Um, but you can see all the texture in here. Look at that. Um, it, because of the style that I painted the base coat. So say hello. I think I have to flip my iPad. There we go. Hey, Amanda, hey, Sherry, there you guys are. Um, hey Jody. So, um, so you can see it's all really, really shabby. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to set this aside. If you guys wouldn't mind sharing out the video, I would appreciate it. So I'm just going to hit it with a blow dryer. So bear with me so I can do the next step. This is how, this is how we speed things up on camera, right? We have to speed things up. We, we just live in a fast-paced society, right, guys? Everything's got to go faster. <laughs> oh, faster, faster. Okay. So I want to make sure there's no dampness here before I actually put on. I'm going to be doing a, an IOD, Iron Orchid Designs transfer over top of this cabinet door and if you guys are not familiar with IOD or Iron Orchid Design, IOD for short, um, Iron Orchid Design is a, uh, a suite of products for the DIYer that are just amazing. There's uh, decor transfers, decor stamps, decor molds, um, Quite amazing products, and I actually carry them in my um, online store at theweatheredshed.com. So you can see them all out there. All right, that feels pretty good. That's one thing I love about um, the American Paint Company. It's very, very chalky, and it dries super quick. All right, so there we are. I'm done with that step. So I have two decor transfers that I'm going to be using pieces of tonight. This first one is, uh, it's a bunch of, um, I believe it's French writing. I should know, right? But it's called La, Pet La Petite Rosier. And you can kind of see what that looks like. Um, I'll hold it up to the camera so you can see it. It's beautiful um, writing. Hold still. There we go. Got to focus there. And it's, so it's a big transfer. It's 24 by 33 in a soft black, and it's just the writing. Then I'm going to be using um, one of these roses um, images that's on this transfer, and I'm going to show you guys how cool this looks. Where is my bigger piece? Because it's quite amazing. Beautiful, beautiful color and detailing um, in these decor transfers. You guys may have seen one of my other videos, but this is, look at this. Look how gorgeous these are. How beautiful is that, right? I mean, absolutely gorgeous. 
So there's four big clumps of these roses on this uh, paper. And I am just cut, I just cut out one section of that that I'm going to be using. So first we're going to start with the words. And the transfers come with a, um, like a protective sheet behind them, just so that you don't risk having any of the, uh, the letters rub off on anything it comes in contact with. So I'm just going to pull that sheet away. And inside each tube, you get a little plastic applique stick, okay? And this is used to rub on your lettering. Um, it's that stinking easy. It's kind of like, um, yeah, like just rub on, like a rub on thing. And um, my piece of lettering here is actually um, kind of cut on an angle and I'm gonna put it on here just like that. I like it. I love it that it's not perfect. And as a matter of fact, I'm going to kind of pull it down so I can get some of the lettering. All right. So all you do, once you have it in place, whoops, my other cabinet door is sliding around. You can tape this down if you want um, with like a painter's tape just to kind of hold it in place. Um, as you rub across the design to transfer it onto your surface. And it's as simple as that. And you probably can't see because you're, the camera's a little bit far away, but um, you can actually see when the, the transfer design lifts away from the plastic that it's mounted to. And it, um, and it will stick to your surface. So you can kind of tell and it, it's funny because you almost want to create like a bubble between your plastic and um, the surface. And it's hard to explain until you actually do it, but it's, it's quite simple. Um, because what happens is when you get that bubble going, it actually releases the design a lot easier from the paper, from the plastic. Does that make sense? Hey Robin, hey Robin, I haven't seen you on here in a while. Thanks for tuning in. I know this is supper time for a lot of folks. So as you guys can see, this part sometimes can take a little bit. Once you get it going, it's um, not so bad. I'm just hoping that my surface was dry enough and that I didn't rush things along too much. I think it's going though. I think I almost have, and I don't even care if the words are perfect. I'm not going for perfection. I'm going for a very shabby chic kind of look. And I'm actually going to grab, I am going to grab some painter's tape. Um, because it is shifting around on me just a little bit. I probably should have just did one part of this first to show you guys. But if you don't want to hang out with me, you can always tune in later and watch the replay. The magic of um, the magic of technology, right? I was anticipating this going faster than it is. So no worries. So again, if you're tuning in late, um, I am putting on a Iron Orchid Design Decor Transfer onto a painted cabinet door. And I'm repurposing it into a sign it's going to be very elegant when it's done. All right, so just to kind of show you guys. All right. All right.
So when you lift up your plastic, you can put it right back down and see any pieces that you might have missed to go back over those areas. Or maybe you want just some of them not to be there because, you know, over time, the lettering would wear away, right? Um, the other thing that's nice about these is that you can distress them too once they're mounted. So you can actually take a very fine sandpaper and distress over the top of the lettering, just adding some more authenticity of it looking like it's um, old, right? This one's being a little bit tougher than it normally is, and I'm wondering if it's because there might still be dampness. It didn't feel like it, but you never know. Anybody have questions? Hey, Jenny, thanks for tuning in. Yeah, so these are, um, they're pretty amazing. All right, so look at, so this is how much I've transferred already. You guys can see it here, and I'm actually, there's some pieces that are sticking up a little bit, some that are, didn't adhere real well, but that's okay. I just go over it, kind of um, burnishing it in with my hand. And again, if there's any that are pieces that I didn't really get down real well and they pull off, I don't care because I'm not, again, I'm not going for perfection. So I kind of want to show you guys just the section that I got done here. Let me get, lift up this plastic. That's what I get for not having any nails, for chewing my nails, right? So you guys can see the lettering here, okay? And so I will continue down this, transferring the rest of the design to my door. You guys may have seen I did a client cabinet not too long ago. Um, with wildflower botanicals, which was absolutely amazing, just gorgeous. I, I have those in my online shop right now available. Um, I also have both of these transfers that I'm demoing here um, available. Um, again, at theweatheredshed.com, you can see them out there along with the amazing stamps and the other decor transfers that I'm carrying. And you can only get these products through a stockist. So I'm pretty excited to and honored to be carrying Iron Orchid Design products because I love them so much. They're unique, they're different. Um, you can apply these to furniture. Um, think of how unique you could make, you, you know, drawer fronts on a dresser that you're redoing. Pretty stinking cool. All right, well, I'm getting there, guys. How long have I been on? Definitely um, gives you your workout. I have um, a t-shirt on and a sweatshirt on, <laughs> and I'm breaking a sweat. Maybe I'll lose some weight. <laughs> Maybe this is a good way, a new way of losing weight. DIY away the pounds, right? <laughs> 19 minutes. Well, that's not too bad. Not considering that I did the actual paint wash and everything. That's not too bad, huh? I know people that have that do their lives that are an hour or more and people are still tuning into them. Like I said, you can 
drop off, come back on, watch the replay. It don't hurt my feelings. Because <laughs> I know you guys will see the end result eventually anyhow. So it's all good. All right, let's see if I can lift this up. Oh yeah, a lot of it's, a lot of it. I'm laying down a lot of it now, guys. Look at that. I'm actually over half, almost all the way down to the bottom here. So again, if you don't want it to move around and things like that, you can tape the whole darn thing down. I just, I usually never do because I'm, I'm not wanting it to be perfect, so. Or I'm in too much of a hurry to worry about it. So Jenny, where are you tuning in from? I'm out in my workshop. I am located in Wisconsin, where it is extremely cold right now. Luckily though, we missed the band of a uh, blizzard that came through here through part of our state a couple days ago, which I was kind of glad about. Kind of glad and kind of not glad. <laughs> it's like, if it's gonna be cold, then we might as well have snow, right? That's what I, how I look at it. At least it makes everything a little bit prettier. Yeah, it's cold. And that could be part of the reason why I'm having a little bit of trouble with this um, this um, transfer, transferring onto my surface with ease because um, it's been out here in, in my workshop. I, I do have a heat out here. Um, and actually it doesn't get, it, it doesn't get to freezing or anything. We keep it, the temperature kind of control, but it, we do drop it down at night, obviously, if I'm not in here, so. Sometimes I think less pressure some, sometimes seems to move it along faster. Just depends, I guess, on the surface that you're applying it to, um, you know, what kind of paint you're using. I'm sure all of that plays a factor. I think the more porous your surface is, the better. Just my opinion, but I have um, seen other stockists apply this to um, canvas, painted canvas, and they do layering on canvases. That's really beautiful as well. Yes, my shop is heated, Lisa. I am so stinking blessed to have a huge heated workshop. And this is actually where I have my, my classes, where I teach and stuff as well. So it, it is dual purpose. So I'm very lucky. Very, very lucky. Extremely lucky. All right. So some of these... I'm almost there. All right. And I like that you can just pull up and lay it back down over anything that, you know, may have stuck to your backing like that. 
And then again, I just go over it with my hand. Pull this piece off here. There's a couple letters along here I wanna get. And then once you're done with this, you can actually put a, um, you know, a wax over this or a poly sealer um, to seal it. Put that right over your design. And like I said, some of these are lifting up. And again, it could be because of my wash that I put on. All right, so see there was a few little pieces on here, but I don't care about that. So there you can see, and I'm actually gonna just kind of rub through it with my hand. Anything that wasn't stuck down real tight will just come off. And again, I, I like that because I want it to look like the letters are distressed. So check it out, you guys. Isn't that beautiful? So this is now ready for me to do my next step, which I don't have time to show you guys right now. Um, but what I will be doing is I'm actually going to take and layer this over the top. How stinking gorgeous is that going to be? Look at that. Won't that be beautiful? And bam, your cabinet door is transformed. Isn't that gonna be gorgeous? So I will, um, I'll finish up the rest of this. Um, maybe I'll even just do part of the rows and jump on live and finish it up. But um, that is my plan for this, you guys. Isn't that gonna be beautiful? Um, so thank you, Amanda. Yeah, it's pretty stinking awesome. Um, and then the other thing I'm going to do is I want to show you guys how to add crackle to this as well using one of the Iron Orchid Design um, decor stamps. It's simply amazing. So hang in there with me, tune back in, um, and we'll finish up the rest together at another time. Okay, guys? Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your night. Bye-bye.